Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Welcome back to two Sp two idiots. Oh, I'm sorry. I mean, two Spartans play Dead Space Three. Welcome to episode five. Having a lot of fun here. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Even though we are sometimes idiots. Um. Okay. So where we last left off, we just found Ellie, turned on the electricity, and got kicked in the stones. Yeah, kicking the stones. Just one. Are, are, are you? Oh God damn it! Ah! God. Mmm. Mother. <laughs> Motherfuckers be jumping out of fans and shit. Ah. Oh my right when Lord. I caught a break. Right when I caught a break. What happens? One jumps out of the fucking ceiling, man. I love this game. <laughs> I wonder if I can get this box stuck up there. Let's watch. I'll probably put an annotation and it'll be like thumbs up for Isaac screaming like a bitch. I know if you don't, I All right, will. dude. Oh, let's go. Aww. Let's do this. Let's have, we have fun another with puzzle. The, box. the electrical engineering interface. In other words, science Thank you made for easy. Into the e -E -I. If you would like a Big Mac, please press 1. I can't find the one on this thing. Where's the one? <laughs> <laughs> Just try talking into it. I need a double cheeseburger and hold the lettuce. Don't be fun, son. No seeds on the bun. We be up in this drive. This shit looks like a when sundial. Uh, I remember when they did the McDonald's rap in Halo 3. That was pretty fucking ball one. I don't remember that. You, you don't? No. Like the same I don't time think I ever saw that one. Yeah, that would explain why I was so I was so wrapped up in wanting to watch that. I never looked. <laughs> Gears of Halo Theft Auto 5. Rated G O. J O. I'm sorry. I'm just partially retarded today. For Jesus only. <laughs> so make a little note. Up here, there's an achievement. We've both already gotten it, so it wouldn't show. All you have to do is shoot the deer head in the captain's quarters like so. An achievement will pop up. You can walk over here and pick up probably tungsten. That's what I seem to get every time. Yeah, same here. Nice little achievement. And now we're gonna shut up. This is kind of, this uh, thing's amazing. can pardon that possible little bit of noise there. I was just adjusting my headset on my head. Right, so, to make sense of all of this, after being stabbed in the eye, I, Isaac, can read marker script. Um, that happened after he finally trusted... What was her name? Nicole. Victor, um, Nicole, thank you, Nicole, who died in Dead Space 1, who was also uh, Isaac's girlfriend. A returning after character she was on the Dead Space War. 2. Returning means she will horrify you through the whole game. Mm hmm. Alright, uh, I'm just gonna play this audio message. Marjorie, I'm 
looking for silver. Oh, good God. Support for the war and our ability to fight it are dwindling. We are out of resources, we are out of public approval, and we are out of time. Just answer my question. What are we looking for? Markers. You must be joking. No, General. I'm not. I will be sending Dr. Serrano to your quarters to give you a full briefing. Right, well, um, Victor, one of the questions I have about that audio file, uh, the war back home, what is that referring to? You know, Dead Space, what we've played is a two, it's 200 years after this, the Sovereign Colonies, so I haven't looked that far into it, but I've been slowly working my way over there. I couldn't answer that question, but maybe in an episode later I'll be able to. No chance. We yeah, we just have to have time to look it up. Oh, but if you can answer that question down in the comments, I'd appreciate that. Where is it? In the biggest ship of the fleet, the Terra Nova. But it's a long walk. Well, they must have had some way to travel between ships. If there's a way, we'll find it. I think I want to use a revolver now, just because you have one. <laughs> just wait for more one-liners. Okay, the music is a key. What's me? Where are they? Hold on. I got a bad feeling about this. Alright, these are the guys we killed earlier. But the music is definitely against just what was going on. This helps understand the marker. Oh god. Oh my god, it's that! So, if you guys are like us and have played Dead Spaces prior, you can remember that. Oh god! Rule 17, guys. Rule 17. As I was saying before, this mofo just jumped out in front of me. If you remember these ugly guys, they would tackle you and try to eat your face off. Now, actually, in these games, there's always a tactical strategy. No, these guys are somewhat new. They're not like the old ones, but they're newer. So, yeah, the crawlers, these, I, I can't remember what these are called. Prowlers, pouncers, something like that. Those Take guys, talk with this, by the a way. dismemberment uh, tactic that is, my bad, that is absolutely excellent to remember is that if you shoot their head off, they can't tackle you. When they tackle you, normally they'll start taking a good chunk of your health away just because the grapple moves tend to do that. Wait, hold on, Victor. It says to go this way, but let's try the other way. All right. I just want to see if there's goodies or anything in here. All right. And so, I was right. Awesome. Thinking about this... Figure out what your enemies can do, and then learn dismemberment as a key to keeping them from grappling you and taking away your health. The slashers, which are the guys with the sharp ar arms that flail at you and haul ass at you, the uh, best thing to do is shoot their arms off. Shoot one of them off and they can't grab you. Shoot their legs off, they can't grab you. Those are common enemy, so those are easy to kill. The crawlers shoot their heads off and they can't grab you. The lurker, which was a little bug thing in the vent with the tentacles, shoot those tentacles off. If you shoot all three of them off, the creature will die. Finding a way off this wreck. Santos, tell him what we found. Of course. We found a little maintenance cross. A skip. It doesn't go very far or very fast, but it will take you to the outcome of ships. Here, I'm sending you the coordinates. Now, let's get the shuttle so we can head home already. Robert. We are not going home. Hey, hey. We'll get the shuttle first and decide what to do with it. I'm heading out to take a look at this. Skip. Alright, so one of the things I pointed out in videos prior... Um... I honestly don't remember Ellie's boobs or her butt being that great. Not saying it's a good thing or a bad thing. It just seems a little unrealistic. And then Victor is making a comment in our first take about how much makeup she's wearing. 
Uh, yeah. I'm just gonna be honest, no human face is actually that smooth. Yeah, thank Boy, you for coming awesome. on an adventure in the deep space in mutant alien zombie infested area. But hey, you look good doing so. Whatever. Yeah. It, it reminds me a lot of how when uh, when Halo Reach came out, everyone was gawking over how large Cat's butt was. was everyone still bit. gawks about how large the butts are of the female Spartans. One thing I do appreciate yeah. Halo 4 doing is toning down the the feminine... What, I can't think... What am I thinking here? The, stereotype uh, kind of... Not stereotype, more like the uh, the sexual appeal of the female Spartan. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. So, I think as stated in episode 2, was it? I would show you the uh, N7 suit. Oh yeah, we'll go over that in just a moment. Now is the perfect time to do so. Yep. Uh, okay, continue oh, on with the story line. So, I put on my revolver just to mimic yours <laughs> and I put on my chainsaw by the way we're supposed to head over here oh sorry I had a dirt moment okay. so suits suits so there's a f very large variety of suits in this game I'm not going to go through and show you all them all we have the limited edition which I think every copy has so we have two DLC suits I don't think we'd mind showing you those but mm -hmm. I'm currently throwing on the N7 Mass Effect 3 suit. It's different seeing the blue from the rig, but then you have the uh, red visor. Yeah. So this suit, the similarity, the suits are identical between player one and player two for the N7 suit. Difference is I have the red color on mine. You have the black color, like Shepard does in the actual game. If anybody here's played Dead Space or Mass Effect Three, it's a it's a nice suit. Really, not much to it. It's the same suit as the security suit, which is unlocked by completing the game and then going to New Game Plus. The security suit is my second favorite suit for Carver compared to his first suit he gets because that's a rare one that player one cannot get. So I will be throwing on the security suit and we can continue. Alright, okay, you might want to talk about Carver's past assignment if you catch my drift. Alright. So. The reason Carver has the security suit and Isaac doesn't is because John Carver served on Titan Sprawl in Dead Space 2 where the Necromorph outbreak happened in the game. And um, John Carver was the security guard agent there. This was his assigned suit on the Sprawl. Uh, after, after the Sprawl, he became affiliated with EarthGov, Robert Norton. He got a suit upgrade to a Task Force suit. And he hung this one up. Completing the game brings back his old suit. And completing the game as Isaac, uh, you get his engineer suit from Dead Space 1. This one doesn't have all the visual on. upgrades to the rig as it would in Dead Space 1 if you max out the rig. Where he has the, the uh, like brown armor plating bars on both of his shoulders. Uh, a huge armor plated chest as you can see. But it's a nice suit to bring back. It, it really brings back that old Dead Space One feel, and that's my that's got to be my favorite suit in the game. Period. Yeah. Uh, one of my favorites is probably the Witness suit. I like it because it does resemble some of the look from Dead Space Two. Because my favorite was the uh, Advanced Engineering suit. It's even cooler when you uh, did that one little thing and you got it in white. <laughs> Oh yeah. That thing was amazing. I just really don't like it that they didn't bring it back, but oh well. I do remember my probably my all time favorite suit, or well second to the engineer suit in any of the Dead Space games, had to be the vintage antique suit from Dead Space Two. 
mainly because the oxygen tank on there wasn't built in. It was attached onto, I believe, the right shoulder blade. And with the styling of it, uh, it made Isaac look like a big daddy from, or similar to the big daddy from Bioshock. Which right, was a nice feel. Press on here. Coming up at 15 minutes, so we'll try and get you another video, minute of video. Are you contacting me on a private channel? Because I need to know if you're on my side. We're taking sides. All is lost. I know. Awesome. Alright, a space voyage. I don't know, I'm thinking this, this, right this would be a nice time to cut it. Maybe there's a chance of stopping uh, this. Just... We both know how this is going to end. If they found a way to stop the markers all right, 200 years ago, so. don't you think we'd all be safe by now? It doesn't add up. So I get it. I get it. You think you and her. Yeah, let's just forget it. She's old. All right. Jealousy. <laughs> it's such an ugly thing. All right, guys, we're coming up at our 16-minute mark. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos coming up in the future. Thanks for watching.